Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Sock here and I am back here with week five of the International Battling League, the IBL, and we are taking on Dorian, aka Lieutenant Gold, and his Victory Road Victinis. If you guys are not subscribed to Dorian, one of my best friends on the internet, be sure to go sub to him. His links will be down below in the description. Um, Dorian is a scary team, but if you guys don't care to see what I brought or kind of the reasons why I brought stuff, there is a timestamp to my right. You guys will be sure to check that out. You guys will go right to the game. But for anyone else who wants to stick around, let's jump into the battle or let's jump into the team builder portion. Then you'll see the battle after because words are definitely hard. Now, this week, I took a little bit of a different approach. As you guys did see, I did make some transaction moves and we're starting off by bringing one of them. Um, first and foremost here, we are uh, Dorian's team is Como, Toxricity, Sylveon, Milotic, Steelix, Braviary, Gorgas, Weavile, both Meowsticks, Vanillix, and Gigantamax Colossal. Very scary team. Um, Como O is very threatening. Milotic's going to be very difficult for me to break. I, my Electro type is Manectric, and it can kind of wall me out. Um, Gorgas can be super annoying. Weavile is very fast. Um, Colossal, very, very bulky and can take a lot of hits and can kind of uh, be very scary for me to deal with. Meowstic as Prankster. Um, not to mention Sylveon, which is a Spadef thing. Also, it's fairy typing, so it can kind of stop my um, my fighting type being Sock. Um, also, it takes care of Appleton, which is one of the mods I swap for. Um, but yeah, a bunch of scary mods in this team. I definitely expect to see. Um, I would expect Como, Toxicity, Sylveon, Milotic, Weavile, Meowstic, Colossal for the six. Um, but again, I easily could be wrong, and we'll see here in a minute. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually recording these uh, team builders before the battle i'm literally looking at dorian and i know he's getting his mods right now from my buddy shay so shout outs to both of them um but yeah <laughs> um let's jump right into what i brought so first and foremost just a basic shell smash cloister a um, max attack icicle spear rock blast liquidation and self smash basic smasher um trying to win late game can do a lot of work um next up here we do have a selgor the fast dorian face um throat spray with bug buzz water shuriken sludge bomb and gastro acid now, Gastroz is pretty cool. It suppresses abilities, which means uh, Colossal Steam Engine, gone. Um, Meow Six Prankster, gone. Weavile's Pickpocket, whatever it is, gone. Um, Milotic's, whatever it is, uh, Marvel Scale, gone. Sylveon's, whatever it is, being the uh, Pixelate, gone. Toxicity's Re, it's still kind of there, but Coma O's um, Bulletproof or Soundproof, gone. So it's really, really nice because it allows for me to get rid of a lot of things. Um, I'm very excited to use this in particular. I think a Selgor has a lot of merit in this game. Uh, has enough speed to guarantee outspeed plus one Como, I think is what we uh, bargained for. I could be wrong on that, but we'll see here in a minute. Oh, let me grab my notes because I just had that up. Where is a Selgor? Um... Oh, I, I guarantee I speed Weavile. That's what that is. Forgot about that. I bet. But yeah. Um, next up on here, we have uh, Thick Dorian Face, the, the uh, Seismitoad. I almost called it Gamma Boon by its nickname just casually. Um, Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Scald Protect. Very defensive set this week. Helps me take on Toxicity. I do think a physical set's going to come because I think he's going to know I want to prep for a special one. So I'm trying to play some mind games early on. Um, but this is a very big stop to Toxicity. It's a very big threat to my team. It can be very, very bad for me. Um, but yeah, very scary. Next up here, I have a big Dorian face. He sent to Scorch. Coil, Flare Blitz, Leech Life, Power Whip. This mon can do so much work late game if I can get rid of Como. Um, it, this thing can just tear new lives, dude. I get to plus two with Coil on Gigantamax. It's going to be really scary for him to start switching into these things. Whether it's G-Max, Centiferno, or Power Whip, I get Grassy Terrain back up and I can continuously get HP back. Uh, it can be pretty scary for him. Um, next up on here. We have Scarf, Gengar, the Spooky Dorian Face, Sludge Wave, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Miss. Dazzling Gleam at this on here with, because I'm able to run Modest uh, with my speed investment, I guarantee Oko any form of Como um, as long as he's not Assault Vest plus one. That is the only way he lives, or if he's Roselli Berry plus one. Either way. But yeah. So, Gengar is a very nice check to Como. I need to keep this around in case he tries to go for it. Um, but yeah, just something I need to keep I need to keep around. But yeah. Um, also, Scarf Gengar does a ton this week. Thunderbolt can do quite a bit. Uh, helps check the... <clears throat> excuse me. 
the Milotic also helps me keep and check the Braviary if he does decide to bring them. Sludge Wave is just good stab, and Focus Miss is here to help against the Weavile, the Vanillix, the Colossal, and the Steelix, like I said. Um, can definitely help a lot. Um, I do expect Gengar to do quite a bit, but because there's no Pursuit Trapping, I don't have to worry about Weavile coming on in and Pursuit Trapping. It's really, really nice. Um, and last but not least, we have a uh, Iron Dorian face, Leftovers, U-Turn, Roost, Brave Bird, and Defog. Now, if you'll notice, I'm running something very specific with this IV and EV spread on this one on here. I'm running a minus speed nature with zero IVs. I want to get a slow U-Turn off as much as I can, just because it allows me to uh, get in whatever I want. Because as you know, Dorian seems a lot of middle speed tier uh, to that kind of 90 echelon, uh, or a little bit higher. So I definitely want to keep uh, momentum on my side. So you can hit my Corvin, I can U-turn out, I can get in one of my big hitters, whether it's my Selgor, whether it's my Gengar, or it's Gigantamax Mushu, the Send Scorch. Um, it's something that I'm very interested to see how this works out. I do think it can be doing a lot of work. But yeah, that's kind of all there really is to this team. Slow U-turning Corviknight, Scarf Gengar to kind of do a lot of work, can possibly clean late game. Uh, Senta Scorch can possibly sweep. It's going to be really strong. Um, we have Thick Seismitoad, just there to help stop Toxicity, and a couple of other things, including Weavile. Um, we got Throat Spray Selgor, which can be a, a late game win con pretty easily. And then Shell Smash and Cloister, which can be a late game win con as well. A lot of offense this week, with some bulk being the Seismitoad and the Corvinite. But yeah, that is going to be all from me. I will see you guys as soon as we hop in game. And we're back for the battle against Dorian, a.k.a. the Mafia boss himself. Uh, we are pressing A to get the signal. Uh, I am not ready for this whatsoever. I am ready to get spooked, uh, bamboozled, and everything in between. Uh, let's check the opponent, see what he brought. Oh, God, he brought Vanillix. Okay. There's no Meow Stick. Oh, that's so nice. Vanillux. He brought Vanillix to counter my rain, which I didn't bring. He brought Toxicity. City. There's Colossal. There's the Como. I knew that would come. Oh, there's the Weavile. And there's my Lottic. I was five I was five out of six, so I'm, I'm happy with that. My low tick. Um Let's see. Lead wise, what's he gonna want to lead with? Um What's am I going to want to lead with? Corvid Knight. Uh, Gengar. And, uh, send to Scorch. What am I going to want to lead with? I think just leading with... Um... Oh, B. I was the wrong one. Uh, I'm just going to enter Corvid Knight first, and I'm going to slow you turn into whatever I can. Um, looking at his team, his switch-ins... Um, he didn't bring Steelix, which is really, really nice. Uh, he doesn't have a ground type. Does... I need to check. Does... Paxtricity get... Something else. Oh, God. Why is that still there? Oh. Window capture. Okay. Dorian. Week two. Uh, week... Whatever this is. I'm really bad at this. I swear. Paxtricity... Uh, does not get... He goes Ben and Jerry first, which is the... Um, that into the counts. I am just super not into this right now. Vanillix. I need to think about this. Core of the Night. Iron Dorian face. Uh, Blizzard is 66. Brave Bird does 57. I'm just gonna slow U-turn. He can do what he wants to me. Um, never melt ice blizzard from Max. What if he's Modesto and Choice of Spectacles? His choice spectacles is going to be bad. He does 91 min, uh, maximum to me, even at max special attack. So I guarantee live one. I can get some damage off and I can go into whatever I want here. What am I going to want to bring in after this on here? Um, let's see here. I could bring in like uh, Senta Scorch and get a coil up because what is he going to do to Senta Scorch? Senta Scorch. Big Dorian face, level 50. Not G Max, just regular. He withdrew, he's gonna get out of here. Going to Yellowstone, what is this? This is the Colossal, okay. 
Wait, do I just go for this now? That did zero. Holy Jesus. Level 50. Corvi. Yeah, you turned to like five. Um, I kind of want to go into a Selgor and click Gastro Acid. Get rid of this thing's ability quickly. And then, how much does Water Shark can do? Um, Selgor, fast. What if he is the max? Water Shark ain't doing shit. He's max, max. Um. How much does Gangard do? Oof, that doesn't do anything. Holy sh... I could Coil, but that's a bad idea. It's a really, really bad idea. Um, I think we're just gonna go into Thick here. The Gamma Bunta, aka my Seismitoad. Um, I'm gonna click Earth Power. Did he bring a floater? Um, his floater is not to be seen. He did not bring a Pokemon that floats. So I can freely click Earth Power here. Yeah, I'm clicking Earth Power 100%. He can't switch in anything to avoid this. This is guaranteed damage. Earth Power is going to do 28 minimum. Um, he withdraws. He's going to go into Flint. I thought that was Toxtricity for a second, and I was going to be freaking amazed. Earth Power to this Milotic. That did a clean, like, 15%. Milotic. Mixed Wall. 50. Earth Power should have done a lot. Oh, that's Dynamax. Okay. About to say, that looks about right. So it looks like he's, like, a mixed defensive Milotic. Or very heavily Spadef. Uh, just based on what the calc says. The, about 15, yeah. Okay. I kind of want... What's he going to do to me? I load it. Toxic, I guess? I'm just going to get my rocks up. I don't know what you're going to want to do to me. Looks toxic. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he toxic. That's fine. Yamabunta, you're fine. I'm going to get rocks off. Guaranteed damage on everything. I get my rocks off. This is fine. What am I going to want to do here? Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We already know he's leftovers. We know he might have marble scale, but he's leftovers. I could go into Sentiscorch. What can Sentiscorch do here? Um, Senti... I can set up. I might go. I'm gonna go send a scorch. I'm gonna see what I can do because I can coil up once on the swap. And his rock move is from a colossal, and I can I'm coiled up once. I can probably take one. Especially at some. He's gonna swap out into Chad Moo. This is his Como O. Okay. Um, I'm going... I'm in my big Dorian now. He's in FOMO. Um. Oh, okay. Let's see. Leftovers? He's lefties. Okay. Um. I kind of want to coil first, but if I coil first, how bad does this get? How bad can this get if I coil first? I'm gonna coil. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see what he can do. I don't know. He goes for taunt. That's so cool. Okay. 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 That's kinda cool. Not gonna lie. Pretty cool. Taunt. Can't do anything now. Um, what are you gonna want to do to me though? I could go into Cloyster and Shell Smash. I'm gonna go into Brave Birding, uh, Corvidon here actually. 
I think that's a better play. It's more defensive. It's more bulky. I can get more off. If he does attack me, I can play Bruce and see what he wants to go for. Unnerve. Berries is whatever. This goes for his rocks. This is a defensive Tomo. This is really interesting. I thought he for sure was going to bring an offensive one. This is like Dragon Dance or like Playing or Soul, whatever the whatever his ultra move is. That puts a lot of pressure on my team. This is really interesting. This bringing defensive set. Corviknight. Oh, Corviknight with Dorian face. Uh, Brave Bird's gonna do about half. I could roost. I could U-turn. Uh, I know I'm faster. I'm going to slow U-turn because I don't know if he's going to stay in. Yeah, he withdrew. This was a smarter play. Just getting, uh, what is it, Yellowstone? I think this is your uh, is your Colossal. This is more damage. You're just above half now. You're about 60%. Um, how much does Gengar do? Gengar, I could be really, really ballsy here and go for a focus miss. Um, oh. uh, watch this focus. Focus miss does not kill these max to death. I don't like that. Kind of just want to go back into Gamma Bunta and click Earth Power. I am going to click that. I am going to go back into Thick Dorian Face, the Gamma Bunta, aka the Seismitoad. Um. Get my leftovers back. This is fine. I'm now back at almost full. I am going to take a turn of Toxic. I'm back at around 90% or so. I'm going to click Earth Power on this. Guys, sick. Guys, Matoad's going to do a ton to this. Um, I'm going to Earth Power. We know you're not Shooka. You're not Shooketh Barry, as Shay would say. Got his Jayquaza. Gonna max. Here it comes. Here comes the D max. What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do to me? Oh. It's not gonna get any grass type move besides Solar Beam. Wait, this thing is Solar Beam? Holy shit, that's so cool. I didn't know I got that. I'm gonna click Earth Power. I'm gonna do a ton to it. Was that a crit? Nope. That weakness policy? That is, that is weakness policy. Max overgrowth. This is so cool. Like you're gonna kill this. However, you're not living in a Selgor um, water shuriken, so this is fine. Like you can do all the want. You have your cool set. Cool, Ossail. Cool walls. It kills Seismitoad with. Max Overgrowth. Ever fast Dorian face comes on in, clicks Water Shuriken, kills. Selgor, fast. Water Shuriken does minimum with two hits. 20%. He is un he is in the red. Water Shuriken, this man. Get him out of here. Get him up out of here. I would instantly win at this. I think he knows. I could have clicked Bug Buzz. How much does Bug Buzz do? Does not do nearly enough. Um, I'll get rid of G Max Colossal, which is really nice. Because this rock type is really nice. There's one. Steam Engine. Okay, get your plus six. Whatever. You're not Pasho Berry. There it goes. It's down. The Selgor revenged it. The weakness policy is down. Uh, Selgor kills Colossal with Water Shrek. And now Selgor gets HP back because of it, because of the grassy terrain, which is actually cool. Colossal is 1-1. One one. Selgor right now is 1-0. And, oh, and Seismitoad as now 1-1. One one.
All right, now might be the play to go for um, Gastro Acid. I think I'm going to click Gastro Acid here because Solgar killed the Colossal. That's what I wanted it to do. And I can Gastro Acid the Como. This is a perfect scenario for me. I'm going to get rid of its ability. Go Astro Acid. Whatever your ability is, gone. Stop it. It's gone. Whatever. What is it? It's Flamethrower. So we have Flamethrower. It has Stealth Rocks. It's fine. A Solgar lived, which is wild to me. Okay. This is now Komoo. You are not Dynamax, my friend. This is level 50. Bug Buzz is going to do a decent chunk. I'm going to get some damage off on this for free. That's really cool. A Solgar is doing more work than I thought it would, which is awesome to see. Um, ability is suppressed, so bulletproof. No ability. It's going to do a chunk. That was a crit. Okay. Get the throat spray up, which is always cool. Let's go for the flame flower, flame thrower, which is going to kill me. A Selgor did everything it needed to this week. A Selgor got damage off. Pops to a Selgor. Como -o kills. Uh, Selgor with flame thrower. Uh, now I want to count how much Gengar does just to be safe. Dazzling Gleam against the max HP does kill, especially because it's at this range. I'm gonna go into. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Gengar here. Spooky. And I, is it bad I kinda wanna predict him to swap out and go like Focus Miss or Thunderbolt? However, any damage is good damage. Um, Toxicity is kind of annoying now because I don't have my Seismitoad. However, Dazzling Gleam will pick up the kill on the como uh, if the como does stay in. So, that's pretty neat. Overall, we're in a 4v5 situation. I, it's not the best situation. He is going to withdraw. I probably went into Toxicity. Flint, no, this is my lot of... My low tick. That did a ton. Can you two call me? Scald, you can. Let's say the grassy terrain should be stopping here within the next turn or two. Uh, it's been a while since he clicked it. There is the grassy terrain. Um, what is ground type? He didn't. You not. He didn't bring his ground type. I can click Thunderbolt freely now. Pokemon. Kind of want to go into Oyster or Shell Smash up. Which means I'm gonna go into Corviknight first to get a slow U-turn into the um, Smasher himself. I'm going to go into Corviknight, get a slow U-turn off. I'm going to try to uh, shell smash up. Words are hard, dude. The nerves are taking over. I'm trying to play as safe as I can while still playing offensive as heck. Uh, point to Stones are going to dig in me. He's going to click Recover. Okay. I am looking for Cloister. Smasher. Plus Dose. Okay. I need some damage off on this thing. I'm going to Brave Bird first. I'm going to do some damage to whatever comes on in. I haven't revealed anything besides Roost on uh, U-Turn. So I'm going to click uh, Brave Bird. I need some damage off on this thing. He's going to click Scald. Okay. That's going to do a decent chunk. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Nice, nice, nice. Here comes Brave Bird. That did a chunk. Three leftovers back. I need under 80% minimum. I need under 65%. Uh, how much is U-Turn going to do with Corvi? Corvi Knight. Brave Bird does 31. That looks like it did about... About 20%. So he's more defensive than I think he is. Like, I just I don't understand this one. Might be a little bit more than 25. I kind of want to do it again just to get damage off. Could defog, get rid of the rocks. However, I like rocks more than... I I don't care about rocks enough right now. I'm going to Brave Bird again just to get more damage off. I can get this thing under 60. If it kills me, even cooler. He's going to Scald. Don't burn me, please. That's all I ask. 
That did a ton. There's the burn, of course it is. Timing couldn't have been any more impeccable. Now I think he's under... You're probably going to recover here, which is the stupidest thing, dude. Like, uh, I don't know what I want to do here. Good roost. How much does... It's so damn does, does 38. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click U-turn on this. He's gonna he's gonna uh actually not recover. That's gonna knock me out. That's a crit. Nice! Corviknight's gone! Fantastic! My low sick kills. Corviknight with Skull. That's beautiful. I really could have used the sack. Um, that's fun. Very, very fun. <sighs> Do I think he's under 70? Yes. I'm going to go into Cloister. He's going to recover, though. I think I should go into Senta Scorch here. Yeah, you're going to recover on my Shell Smash, or you're going to Skull if you burn me, because that's just how Pokemon works. Um, I'm going to fight. I'm going to Coil once. I'm going to Coil once, because I don't... You don't have, you don't have to tell, Taunt. Taunt is a word. I can speak. He's going to go back into Chad Mo-O, which is the Como o Um... Big I'm D Max versus Homo Defensive 50. One. <sighs> Dynamax, Max Sent Inferno. I got to. It's gonna. Ugh. This is gonna suck. This thing is bulky as all get out. I am plus one defense. He's thinking about his move here. I'm able to get to plus one, which is really nice. Um, Max Flare is going to do 32% minimum here. However, the residual damage is going to be really nice, because there's nothing you can really do to Oko me. Let's see what he want to do here. This is the big... Big Dorian face. I'm gonna go for taunt. That's fine. I did actually. That's like a almost a near perfect turn. The Centiferno is gonna come on out. I'm gonna do a ton of damage. Your lefties are gonna now be um, nullified because of Centiferno. Your leftovers are now nullified. That's so interesting. That taunt there almost co basically cost him his uh, Como. Um, how much does Overgrowth do? He might not be max defense. He might just be max HP. We're going to cut off max HP. That did about 40. Yeah. He might just be max HP. I'm going to send Tiferno again. Because I hit the my Lodic with this as well. And I can do some damage. Um, you're actually trapped in. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse. That's not going to do enough. Yeah, that did zero. G-Max sent to Furno. Sent to Scorch going to pick up a kill here, I think. Should. Keyword should. There it is. So, sent to Scorch. Kills. Como. Oh, with G-Max. Sent to Furno. Okay, so Como -O is down. I don't know right now. Corviknight is 0-1. Sent to Scorch right now is 1-0. Uh, Silver did pick up a Deeth. A Deeth. Yes, a Deeth. This is really interesting right now because Weavile is not going to be able to take me on. I'm plus one defense. Toxicity is not going to do a whole lot to me. Uh, my lot is going to get absolutely destroyed. Vanillix is going to get absolutely destroyed. This is a really interesting position I'm in because of my plus one defense. Because I was able to get the Quail up. 
Uh, it puts Dorian in a really tough spot. What do you want to almost quote unquote sack off? What do you think is going to do the most damage? You can come in and revenge kill it. This is kind of the next question. He's going to go into Flint, which is the um, my low tick. My low tick. I think your defensive wall, level 50. I am plus one. Max Overgrowth is going to slaughter you. I could max Fluttershy, but max Overgrowth is so much nicer because it gives me residual health back. Um, we've seen its leftovers already. We know it's not Rindo Berry. This is really nice. This is a really nice position I'm in. I'm really glad I coiled. He's going to withdraw. He's going to go into... Okay. Oh, hey! It's the shiny one! That's awesome! That's awesome! The shiny... I... Oh, sorry, so story time. I got Dorian a shiny tox... Uh, toxicity. Um, whatever it is. Whatever you want to call it. The... Um, Toxel for uh, just he, he got me a shiny beware so I I um, Masuda a shiny Toxel and I traded it to him I named it Dorian face and I traded it to him that's so cool that Toxicity is shiny it's almost like it's the same one that's super cool okay that's awesome that made me really happy that's really really awesome so that took that like a champ by the way Tox this level 50 that did take it like a champ uh, boom burst is going to do 44 um actually no never mind it's going to do 88 which is scary um i'm just going to flare blitz i'm going to pray that it's physical because if you're special it's bad you click overdrive overdrive to 75 does less that's Throat spray. I like that. That's cool. I am flare blitzing, getting rid of this. Goodbye, toxicity drops. Sentis Scorch kills toxicity with flare blitz. Sentis Scorch picks up a second kill. Toxicity is down, which was a Pokemon I was super scared of. Um, Cloyster looks like it can have a field day. He goes into Frozone, which is the Weavile. It should be there. Yeah. Weavile. Frozone. Why do I have a Frozone? What the? Hashtag? That's a dope name, because I use it too, apparently. <laughs> uh, Weavile. I'm going to guess he's banded just for maximum giggles. Um, Ice Shard does not kill me. I just go Crash. I'm at 66. I'm at 32... Ice Cook Crash from a Banded Weavile does not kill me. He has to go for knockoff here. I'm going to Leech Life just in case he misplays. And I can get HP back. He goes for knockoff here. Yeah, good play. Flame Body Triggers! Let's go! Yes! The crit comes back to haunt! Oh, that's so cool! The Flame Body Tech worked! Yes, dude! Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my gosh. Dazzling Gleam does a ton. So does Sludge Wave. Um, let's Sludge Wave through. I want a Thunderbolt through, to be honest, but I don't want to... I guarantee outspeed with this. I'm clicking the sludge wave. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill something. The sludge wave does 82, and yeah, 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 yeah. 82 does minimum 70. He's taken one turn of burn, which is six percent, and rocks, which is 25. He's guaranteed dead by this, unless he's bulky for some reason. Even then, he's burned. Oh, dude, that burn sucks so much. I'm going to Sludge Wave here. It's Stab. I can get it across everything. Sludge Wave. Come on, Gengar. Do the work, buddy. It lived. It lived. It has Bolt. It has Bolt. Gengar will go down. Vile. Kills. Um... 
killed send to scorch with knockoff revile kills gengar with knockoff however i'm gonna go into my shell smashing cloister um how much does low kick do to that's 46 because he's burned that's banded burned by the way um Uh, shell smash one time. Gotta go for the one dime. Gotta go for the one dime. He is still faster. Knock off. Knocks off my white herb. This is fine. I'm still gonna smash. My defense. There's my attack. I'm gonna need everything on here, dude. This is gonna come down to the wire. It's gonna come up to Cloyster shell smashing to win. Because so he have Ice Sharp. You know he's revealed Knockoff. You know he's revealed... That's it. He might just be banded. Um, He might just be banded. I think he... This is now going to come down to a game of... Liquidation kills this, right? Liquidation is 100% accurate. I'm going to click Liquidation just to guarantee a kill. I don't want to miss yet. Smash. You're going to click Liquidate. Kill the Frozone. Zone. Cloyster kills Weavile with liquidation. Ben and Jerry, are you Scarf? Snow warning, of course. Uh, in comes the Vanillix. I'm plus one. Um, I kind of want to hit Rock Blast here. If you're Scarf and you click Freeze Dry, that's good game. That's great prep. Nope. I hit! I hit! That's two. Okay, we're in this. Cloyster kills. Vanilla with Rock Blast. It's a 1v1 situation. Cloyster. I need you to come up big. One. Cloyster, if there's ever a time for you to hit a Rock Blast, now is it. Hit the Rock Blast and we'll win. We hit! Please. Please. That's a crit! That's a crit Rock Blast in the second one! That might win us the game! That won me the game! Cloyster comes back and we're going to pick up a win against Dorian. That crit at the end sealed it. I don't know if that fifth one would have killed it. I think it would have because I, of course, um, skill link. I'm going to pick up a 1-0 victory and move to 2-3. and three. That was a wild game. Holy cow. GG to my pal Dorian. What a game that was. Um... Definitely shout-outs to Cloyster picking up the win. Cloyster going 3-0. Also, shout-outs to the big Sento Scorch coming in, knocking a lot of stuff out, and burning the Weavile. That was huge. Um, that allowed Cloyster to stop the sweep. That burn from Flame Body on Sento Scorch won me the game. Hands down, no, no if ands, or buts about it. And that's how Pokemon kind of works. Um, this was kind of a haxy game. It did really determine the victory here. But I will take that to the bank. Uh, two and three going to next week. It is the battle for Wisconsin against my boy Brownie and his Green Bay Yampers. I will see you guys next week. Again, please be sure to check out Dorian. Show him some love. And with that, I'm going to sign out of here today, guys. Peace out, scouts.